What's the crack lads? Welcome back to another tier list. This time we're going to be taking a look at the top 100 players for the ultimate meta tier list. Every position is included in this. And of course, let me know if you agree or disagree in the comments below. Let's go. All right, boys, let's get straight into it. We have done an ultimate meta tier list before, but now we're including every single player from every position, starting from goalkeeper all the way to center forward. And there's a lot of new players after being added since we did the last one in February. So let me know as ever whether you agree or disagree with the picks. We've also got S to E. So we've got six tiers. We're going to be leaving the S tier really for my, in my opinion, the top 10 players in the game currently with the meta. And pretty much just for 90% of people that are going to be using these players, where these players fit into the meta. So we also have Vinny down here, the new uh, Wambasaka. We've also got Voritz. And you do have Zico down here as well. So there's a couple of players in here that we're going to kick things off with. I think a lot of the way that the gameplay is now at the moment, it does kind of like really reward you for having, how would you say, kind of like quickening up your play. So I feel like a lot of cards now, especially the big tanky guys like it's it is controversial to put a lot of these guys into anything lower than a b but when you put them face to face you know there is a big discrepancy between araujo who i think is going to be s compared to the likes of somebody let me see i mean like i don't know bad astuda because they're being compared on the same list it's not really a fair kind of comparison between these two players if you get me because araujo is just an absolute like one of the best players in the game Whereas Badis Juda, he is going to be a top class centre forward. But when you're comparing him with other guys like Araujo and Baggio and them guys on the list, it does kind of become a little bit more tricky. Um, and also we're going to have personal favourites in here as well. But we are going to start with E and D. There's going to be a lot of these cards that I feel definitely don't deserve these spots. But as I said, just as a kind of a preface of it, when they are linked up with other players or they're compared against other players it is going to be difficult to put these guys into tiers. So that's the first thing I will say. I'm going to agonize over a couple of these. I'll also hide my webcam here in a second as well, just to give you the full screen experience once we move off D and E. So let's crack on with where we're at with the gameplay at the moment and see if I can kind of put any of the players into E and D. Well, I think we're going to start with Bastoni. He's going to go into E. Uh, I also think that we are going to put in Havertz, I think, just because of... Man, a lot of people are saying Havertz is a beast. We'll leave him in D for a second. A lot of people are saying that Havertz is a beast, but I mean, you're comparing him with some other legends on this uh, on this squad. Uh, Stoichkov will probably slot him into E as well. He just doesn't really suit the gameplay too much. Uh, Drogba, I feel like I have to put Drogba into D. Maybe put Batistuta in D as well, just because they're very similar players. And if I'm going putting them in there, I'll obviously stick in Forlan as well. Uh, for me personally, lads, I think looking through this list, I think Xabi Alonso has to be into E. I know that's going to be a controversial one. Adriano is going to go into D as well, um, strictly just to keep him on the same pattern with Forlan, Drogba and Batistuta. I might change that in a second and I also might change Havertz, but we're just trying to keep this going and keep it flowing as best as we possibly can. Um, where is Gans? I know that Gans should be here somewhere, um, but I don't see him. Have I already used him? No, I can't see him, man. Oh, he's here. I'm going to pop him into E. I know I've seen clips of people absolutely tearing it up with him. I know people are saying that he's absolutely scoring goals for fun. But for me, he's just not a player that really does have anything above these guys. Maybe we'll stick him into D because he's a booster. Um, but we'll see. We'll revisit that as well in a couple of minutes and see how we actually leave him there. I think Kavara at the moment is a very, very interesting player because of his passing and his shooting and everything. Um... But if I am looking at the rest of these players here on the pack, uh, I think we're going to put Van Nistelrooy into E. Uh, and I also think that we're going to put Van der Vaart into E. I think Toddy has been beastly since the new update to the classic number 10s. I think he's definitely a player that we could look at as well. Um, but I definitely feel like Toddy has to probably go into D, maybe a bit higher than D. Maybe a bit higher than D. I think I kind of kind of uh, look at him a little bit differently now. Um, Martinelli is another player as well that I, you know, I've seen a lot of people comparing him to, you know, one of those beastly left wingers. That's an that's a difficult one as well. Um, there's a lot of players on here lads, that definitely aren't E. You know what I mean? Like I could shove a lot of these into E, and I think I'm going to do it. I think Batistuda is going to go into E. I think Gans is going to go into E because we have to fill these slots. I mean, there is no right choices here. You will see choices like this and say like, oh, there is no way 
that Bastoni or any of these are, you know, ease or whatever. But forget about the rating. Just just kind of look at the actual tier list overall. I mean, are you really going to put Gans over, you know, the likes of Hollett or the likes of Rijkaard? I mean, it's a very, very difficult one. Now, Collar is an interesting one as well. I think I'll stick him into D. If it was my choice, I would probably put Collar up a little bit on, um, a bit further up. But I do obviously understand that Collar is kind of an acquired taste. He doesn't really... He's probably the best target man in the game, but he's so clunky and so slow for the average player. I think that it is it is a difficult one. Um, Labaka, even though he's a beast, he's not up with the upper tier of the DMFs in this game, especially the new Casemiro that they've added as well. Uh, and I'm also going to round it off. I think this Neste here has been very, very good. Um, this Martinelli is a card that a lot of people are talking about as well. Uh, I think Cristiano is going to have to go into D. I think we'll slot him into D. And I think we'll also slot in Shevchenko into D as well. Now, as I said, I might change those out in a second because of where the game plays at. In fact, I'm probably going to put Hernandez and Nkunku in here. And I'm probably going to put... This is difficult, man. This is actually a difficult one. I'm probably going to put Cantona into D. I know people will like Cantona I think, and think that he's good. I'll also put the new Ericsson into D. Um, I will probably put... Man, this is tough. There is no right option here. There is no right option here. I'm probably going to put Stevie G in here. Anytime I've played against Stevie G, let's, he has done nothing against me. I mean absolutely nothing. It's it's mad, actually, to think that he's so highly rated, this big-time card, but he does nothing against me, ever. I can't ever remember a time where I struggled against him. It's the same way, Kaka. Uh, I think I'm going to have to put Kaka into B this time uh, because I just feel like Kaka never does it against me either. Messi, I'm going to put this Messi into C. He's been severely nerfed. Obviously, it could change depending on how badly this video ages with the updates and stuff. But I definitely think at the moment that Messi is a C with, with the rest of these players. Or maybe I'll put him into B because of his stats. He's just his sheer stats. Now, kicking off things with C, we're going to pop in a couple. We're going to pop in Davies in here. We're also going to pop in Barella. We're going to pop in Bellingham. We're probably going to pop in Jack Wilshire. We're going to pop in Beckenbauer, Casillas. This is pretty easy to actually put these in. Uh, I think for based on where I have played and the players that I have played against. Son Krasen, I rate him extremely highly, but I will probably pop him in there. We'll also pop this Neymar in there. Um, I would be tempted actually to put... We'll see how we're going. I would be tempted. I'll need to clear, clean up this list in a minute um, because I'm actually going to run out of room on this. But I would be tempted to kind of pop in Hernandez maybe down here um, and just to free up a couple of spaces, because we are going to run out of room, we're, need to, we're going to need to double uh, double row these in a second, the rest of the players that you see here on the list, um, there is some nice players still left on here, uh, I feel like at the moment with the new gameplay updates, I mean, Schneider is a good player, but I think I'm going to probably pop him here, um, I just don't ever really feel the need to use him, I know a lot of top class, like top opponents will use him, but no, we'll probably stick him into C because I do a lot. I know a lot of top guys do use him. Um, we also have like it's getting tricky now. It's actually getting tricky. Like Van Basten for me is not. He's, he's he has to be in the same category as the D. He just has to be in the same category as the D boys. There, there's no doubt in my mind. And if I'm going putting him in there, I think I'm going to round off the C's or the B's with putting. Let me see what I could put in there. We'll put Kante in there. We'll put Ferrer in there. We'll put Mycon into C as well. Let me see, am I running out of room? Uh, I think we'll put Pedri into B. I'm going all over the place with this, lads. It's very hard to keep track. There's just so many players in here. I think we'll put Saviola in there. We'll put Sadarf there. A lot of people talk about Sadarf. I, again, like Stevie G, I've never actually struggled against Sadarf, ever. I can't ever remember a time where he gave me trouble. Uh, Cannavaro, Bergomi the homie, Aldair, Baggio. There's a lot of really good players left now here. Um, that I feel I'm going to have to tidy up again by having a second look. But let's see who I would put in here. Uh, Nedved, Musi, Jesus. We'll probably stick Jesus into B. And I'm also going to put in... Now, this is going to be a controversial one, lads. I'm going to put Cruyff into C. And I'm also going to put him beside... Uh, no, I'm going to put David's uh, B. I have to put David's B because it's probably one of the most position, uh, most important positions in the game. And Davids is a beast. He still is a beast, in fairness to him. Uh, I think I'm going to put... Who else will I join him there? I think Kavara is going to go into C. I know the dribbling has been improved, but I don't think that he's as high uh, as he should be. I'm also going to stick in Rafael Leao in here. We're going to stick oh, Michael Owen into B, I think. 
And we're also going to stick Beckham into C. Uh, who else could we stick into C? Marquinhos. I do really rate Marquinhos. I think for just the other players that are on the squad here, I'm going to put Rodrigo, Edmilson, Martinez, and this is tough, Ritz in here as well. So that's going to round off our C for now. Now we'll probably need to add one or two to the D to make this compelling enough to have the S and the A as a different kind of, kind of tier. Um, for me personally at the moment, I'm going to put Maradona into B. Now I'm going to hide my face cam here a sec and I'm going to concentrate on the rest of this. All right, so we can start with the A's now. I think, look, I'm going to put Martinelli into A. A lot of people gave me crap about Martinelli the last day saying that he is actually one of the best players in the game. This is kind of a community pick. I would probably have Martinelli down in, in the C's or maybe even the D's. In fact, I would probably throw down from this just because of where the gameplay is at at the moment. I would probably throw down Schneider here and I would put down, I would put down these three boys. That's who I would put down. And then on top of that, I would probably add right here right now, I would probably add Tomori into the C's. I would add Totti into the C's. And I would add Salah into the C's. Now, Salah still has the Blitz curler, but it's not as effective. And he definitely has been nerfed a little bit as well, in my personal opinion. Am I wrong? Let me know. I could be wrong. I mean, I've been known to be wrong. So it's not a, it's not a huge deal breaker if I get a few wrong. But I would like to think that a lot of people will agree with these picks based on, you know, I've played thousands of hours of the game. And, and some of these players that are low, low rated, like the likes of Cruyff and Rafael Leao, fantastic stats skills brilliant for some people but they've never really they don't ever really threaten when i'm playing against them or defending against them compared to some of the other guys on top of them uh, and ahead of them um but yeah to round off the the kind of i'm happy enough with the rest of those i don't have that many in e and and c is kind of where a lot of these guys filter in um i listen i could bring stevie g up here i i, I definitely think i could bring stevie g up here um you know it, it, it's a difficult one I'm also going to pop in Gavardial in there. I, I feel like that's a controversial one as well. But I feel like that where the gameplay is at at the moment, it doesn't really reward that type of player. And also on top of that as well, we do have Blitz Curler Son, who I'm going to pop into A. We have Moosey, who I'm going to pop into A. We have Kimmy, who I'm going to pop into A. Can, who I'm going to pop into A. Zico, A. We're also going to pop Vinny here into A, which I think is one of the best cards they've ever released for, for everything. And we're also going to round that off, I think, by popping... Oh, man, this is tough. This is very, very, very tough. I think this Mataus card has kind of aged badly enough. Uh, I think I'm going to swap him out, right? And again, this is going to be a bit of a controversial one. I think I'm going to swap him out strictly because I haven't really used Dennis Law. I know a lot of people are actually really enjoying using Dennis Law still. I mean, I, I got two goals conceded against him last day, but a lot of people don't use him. I'm going to swap him and Matthaus out just to kind of round off that C's and D's. And then for the rest of this, as we go up here, we do have a fair amount of players still left. I, I think it's going to be easier to create, you know, the, the S's than the A's here because there's so little between them. Cannavaro, I think, is going to go no bigger than an A for me. I also think that we're going to put Gilberto Silva in there and Casemiro in there. Now, again, that's another bit of a one that we might revisit. Don is going to go into A. We're also going to have, let me see, De Jong, Nedved, Nesta, Free Neymar, uh, Schmeichel, I think, as well, which means that we're going to pop check into S tier for me, another controversial one that will probably a lot of you guys will disagree with. We're actually going to put Davavia into C tier. I know a lot of people like Davavia, but I don't think that he's as good as you know he could be or from other players on this on this list that we have left here i'm also going to pop in van dyke into c i don't think i can put him higher based on the other players that you have here for the options that they have we're going to pop rodri into a we're going to pop the free rudiger into a is unbelievable rummy we're also going to pop him in we're also going to pop in i think this is a difficult one man i think this is a very difficult one i think we're going to pop in and i i think we're going to pop in Ribri into c even though I really like Ribery, I think just for the other players that they have on this, that we have on this list. And I'm also going to pop in Marquinhos. We're going to pop in Puyol into A. I think, man, I'm going all over the place with this, but I think my S tier is fairly, fairly good 
in terms of the players that we have in here. We have Vieira, you have Rijkaard. I think at the moment as well, we have a couple. You've got Makalele, I think, who's going to be in S tier for me. Maldini's going to be in S tier. I think Pirlo is going to be in S tier and Rijkaard is going to be in S tier. I also think with the current gameplay at the moment, I do really feel that Romario is still S tier. I still think that Romario is S tier. Now, I, I don't really want to have a massive amount of S tier players. I would like a top 10 and I, I, I can't really see... Personally speaking, I would probably take check out of the top 10 if I'm looking at top 10 meta players. Strictly because you don't really need a goalkeeper to be your ultimate like player on the squad. Like Because you're going to concede goals no matter what. If it's a case of me taking out check to free up one spot on my top 10 of the most like dominant players in the game, I would be tempted to probably bring up Aldair up there or else Bergomi. I think Bergomi, because he's just, him and, like, Bergomi and Wambasaka are, you know, two peas in a pod. There's so little between them. I know we're missing Lee Dixon off this as well, but, you know, that's probably a player that you could pop in very, very easily as well. I think Basaka and Bergomi, do you know what? I'm probably, look, this is a controversial one. I'm probably going to pop in Wambasaka into my S tier. Now, I have played with Wambasaka on my road to glory for months, and he is just so good. He's a beast in the game. This new card looks phenomenal as well. If we're going to go with that, I think the S tier become, or the A tier becomes very, very easy because we can just slot the rest of the players in here. Ronaldinho, Sami Atu, you've got Mbappe, you've got Carlos, and you've got Ronnie. Now, that is with me limiting to a top 10. That is the ultimate tier list there. And in saying that, we've got like what? Nearly 20, we've 29 players in the A tier. You've got 10 players in the B. I could potentially move a couple of those into B. Like that is kind of where the game is at. I would probably put Donna down there into B. It depends on, it depends on the players that you want to have. But there are probably a couple of controversial choices there. Personally for me, personally speaking, I would probably like Collar up into the B tier for me and probably swap out maybe the likes of Jesus or Saviola. I just think that the game has kind of bypassed them a little bit, or fairer a little bit. But what do you guys think of that tier list? Let me know your honest thoughts. There's a couple of... Con Ugh. Man, I think for where the gameplay is at at the moment, I think I would swap Sun out of the a the top tier there. I mean, everyone is A tier here anyway, so it doesn't make a difference. You're only jostling for position at the top. I think that there are a couple of definite uh, conversations to be had here with him. But let me know your thoughts, lads. Let me know if you want uh, another one of these videos. This is a lot. This is 100 players. So it's very, very difficult to kind of do this tier list. We only have 10 players in B as well. Is that where I've kind of slipped up with too many in C and A and not enough in B? Let me know your thoughts. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe. I'll talk to you in a bit.